that we need to continue to stand strong to defend everybody's rights and freedoms. Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? Whew. Looks all cloudy today. Oh, yes, it does. Maybe we'll get some rain. Oh, won't Quebec love that? Because it's not rain clouds. These are smoke clouds from forest fires in Quebec. And to our forest fire fighters, thank you for what you do. You know, there are forest fires raging in the Maritimes. There's forest fires raging on the west coast. And there's forest fires raging all across Canada. But we're not going to talk about the climate side of things today. I want to talk about something else. You see, Trudeau on, uh, what was it, Wednesday? Yeah, I think it was Wednesday. He came out with a new announcement. He's going to take 755 million Canadian taxpayer dollars and put that in a fund for new businesses to access funding to create their businesses. With the one little cliche, it must be 50% uh, gender diverse and their management team must have at least 30% man, uh, gender diversity. Now, they say of that 50%, um, I do believe there's only a percentage of that that has to be women. So what he's talking about is anybody that wants money from that $750 million taxpayer dollars needs to hire trans people. Okay. All right. Let me ask you something. With all these forest fires that are going on, how, do, how well does that meet that diversity quota? How many trans people are out there fighting our forest fires for us? This is my question for you. Now, let's move on from that. All right. You know, this government keeps talking about, you know, we need to constantly be updating ourselves and keeps promoting trans agenda stuff um, we need to accept it and he calls anybody that disagrees with it transphobic okay this is like a cult okay you attack people you attack Christians because they don't believe in the values you're trying to teach our children look at the Blue Jay player you attacked him because he was a freaking Christian. You know, I remember, oh, not so long ago. What was it, maybe five years ago? No, no, it was about eight years ago. Trudeau going off after Harper trying to introduce legislation that's against people's religions. <laughs> but yet... If you're disagreeing with the methodology of the trans community, yeah, that's just as bad as calling out barbaric practices. <laughs> yeah, well, you see, there's a spokesman who's finally come out and said it. Said exactly what all us common sense people say. He came out and said, you know, after being such a powerful spokesperson for so many brands, he came out and said, you know, when I first came out to my mom and dad and I told them I was gay, and then I told them I was binary, and then I told them I'm trans. 
Well, now I'm telling them I'm a lesbian. Yep, he's 26 years old and he hasn't figured it out till now. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mr. Mulvaney, Mr. Dylan himself. <laughs> you know, back in my day, when a man said he wanted to wear a dress and date women, we just called him a cross-dresser. In today's world, we don't care what you want to wear, but to force an ideology that says that children are allowed to decide what gender they are, and they're allowed to perform gender surgery on themselves. Well, this 26-year-old person, to this day, still doesn't know what he wants. He just said it himself. He went from gay to bi to non-binary to trans. And now he's a lesbian, which we would call straight because he's a man and he still has his genitals. Genitals? Yeah, that's the word we're using. So why should we push this on children? Why are you pushing an agenda it's like an occult, Mr. Trudeau. Welcome to the Fringe. Welcome to the Fringe.